Now, on my trip to Iceland, my flights got sometimes canceled and delayed by as much as four hours. It's one of my biggest fears that this is not the beginning of this, and I'm gonna talk to you guys about why this is gonna possibly happen to you as well this holiday season. So for context, using my own eyes as I was traveling internationally from the Bahamas to Fort Lauderdale, from Fort Lauderdale to New York, and then to Iceland, Every one of those airports were completely filled. I'm talking about when you're trying to sit down to plug your computer in, there are four families waiting ahead of you to use that same socket. So yes, it's safe to say, travel is back like it was pre-pandemic and it is booming. But this introduces a whole set of issues that I wasn't thinking about before. So with all these people traveling back and forth, you would almost be mistaken to think business is back to usual, except is actually not back to usual because instead of airlines increasing production, increasing flights, they're actually canceling flights. Some airlines are completely canceling their service into some cities. One of these airlines being American Airlines. Yes, American Airlines has canceled some of its flight into some of these cities because operations are not business as usual. Now the reason for the cuts in flights or the cancellation of these flights is because the pandemic caused a lot of these airlines to downsize and suddenly travel is just like, boom, we're back to normal. They have not had the chance to catch back up with their staffing. So now these airlines are understaffed and the demand is too high for the amount of staff that they have. Welcome to supply and demand, y'all. Oh, everything comes full circle, doesn't it? So American Airlines has since released a very professional statement explaining why are there so many cancellations and delays? And I gotta get these out for you guys. So American Airlines has had to scale back their operations in the proportional rate of the amount of staffing that they have available. All that mumbo jumbo really means is, hey, look, y'all, we don't have enough pilots to fly all of you people about because yeah we let a bunch of them go during the pandemic but happy holidays I hope you get on your flight best luck to you so when I traveled this past week I asked one of the agents my flight looks like it's not on time can you please help me sir figure out why is the flight so delayed the agent looked me dead in the eye and said hey son I'm busy right now Go figure it out. Guys, I don't want you to be in this same situation, so make sure y'all hit the like button to push this video out to as many people so they are not completely surprised as to, hey, why is our flight delayed or is constantly being canceled? So Johnny watching this video, I know you might be having some, some doubts or fears or questions. Am I going to have my flight canceled or is it going to be delayed? Are the travel gods gonna stop my flights completely? Johnny, it's very possible, I, I have to be honest with you, it's very probable in today's circumstances. Here's why. I hate that I'm laughing delivering such bad news to you guys, but I already went through this, so here you go, here's the information. Oh my God, so American Airlines said they are canceling hundreds of flights at its Philadelphia hub. So that's seven flights per day in September, and this is gonna scale up. They said they're gonna cancel 13 flights per day in October. So we are almost doubling as we go one month forward. So what's gonna happen when we reach November? What's gonna happen when we reach December and everybody's traveling around for Christmas? Happy holidays, guys. So I know your brain is working right now. You're trying to figure out a way to get around this. American Airlines is the only name he call, right? I'll just book with another airline. Not Spirit, don't do that. <laughs> I got news for you, it's not just American Airlines. United Airlines also announced that they are canceling flights as well. Actually, United Airlines has been canceling flights since July 1st. They've been canceling 50 flights per day. JetBlue is also canceling flights and Delta also canceled 100 flights per day for like the last few months. So by now, I know you guys have your pitchforks, you have your torches, your shovels, your, you're ready to look for someone to blame. And you're asking me, Campfire, who is responsible for this issue? I'll tell you who we shouldn't blame and who's not responsible. Do not blame the pilots, y'all. We do not want to scare away the last set of people who are going to help us get to our destination. We do not want to blame the persons who are actually there putting in the work to help us get where we're going. In fact, the shortage of pilots has gotten so bad that it's not only America experiencing this. Major airports in Europe are facing this as well. So right now, passengers in Europe are experiencing long lines 
flight delays, cancellations, just like America. And they said that in October, they're gonna put a cap on departing passengers. You can imagine there's 100 passengers who are allowed to go on the flight and your passenger 101, <laughs> like come back tomorrow, bro. You're, you're about to miss your whole Thanksgiving. And my brain just tells me, as we get further and further into the holiday season and uh, there's more demand for travel and we're still in a pilot shortage that this problem is just going to compound and compound. So I don't know, maybe we got to get a boat or something. You guys have had so many questions throughout this video. Yeah, I can feel your burning desire coming through this lens and you are now asking, What's gonna happen if my flight is canceled or delayed? How can I help myself during these hard times? If your flight is canceled, usually you're supposed to get a refund. Now the tricky situation is when your flight is delayed. Now, in the case where your flight is delayed, the Department of Transportation says that technically, you should be compensated for any significant delays on your flight. Now, here's where the issue is. Significant time is different for me and you. Anything past an hour for me is like, hey, um, that's significant. I need some, some compensation right away. I need some groceries. I need a place to stay. You know what? Just give me a whole new passport and I'm duly compensated. But compensation and, and significance is different to everybody. So that's where the issue lies. So. If you guys learned anything throughout this video about cancellations and delays and the pilot shortage that is happening right now, make sure you all hit that subscribe button to the worst travel vlog ever. And I'm guessing this is the worst travel news ever.